Hello guys and uh, welcome to my tutorial on uh, how to make a IP locator or IP finder. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, first open Visual Basic 2008 and make a Windows 4 application. It's IP finder. And yeah, uh, you see a form one and uh, make it named IP. Uh, then you go to um, tools and choose toolbox items. Uh, let it load up and go to com components. Then you go to M for Mac. Um, you go to yeah. Scroll down until you find Microsoft WinSock Control Version Six. Oh and check it and ok when you do that when you done that you get this one and you paste it in anywhere ok this will not show when you uh, debug so so you don't need to bother about that um, then create open and place it here that matter and make a text box then you make another text box then you go to label make label make another label and on label one you're going to write, uh, write uh, local to make it remote mode IP um, yeah place it how you want it that's your choice You can name the button like find IP. Then double click the button and type text box one dot text like x winsack one dot local IP enter then you type text box to dot text like xbox win win suck one dot remote host IP then enter then you just need to debug and yeah so you see it and when you press find a IP here it's Finding your local local IP. Uh, okay, local IP is to it's the IP to your computer on the network. So this is the IP the router. Um, sees your computer as you know, yeah. Um, and remote host IP I don't have one so they can't find any. But if you have a remote host IP, it, it pops up here. And yeah, you can make if uh, um, if uh, text box two dot text I like yeah uh, text box two okay I didn't uh, text box two 
text like um, points uh, then message box um, I don't know compare to what you want there okay that's the message that pops up when you if they don't find a remote host IP okay no remote host IP phone message and enter okay uh, when you debug now and press find IP say IP finder no remote host IP found IP Okay, I need some uh, sorry for that. Okay, I need to put down I need to put Okay, this is going to be the top message of the error box, so then you need to put it like this. Okay. Now when you put this and you see IP message like there. Yeah. If you want a close button like I showed in another tutorial just make another button and yeah I don't know uh, you can like double click and close enter yeah it's so easy you know so button and close yeah okay thanks for watching guys and see you later